Hey guys, update on the SRS. I'm out here again in the mountains. Uh, it's way more snow, but it's less cold and it's much less windy. So, I'm gonna try to test this thing again. Um, since the last time I've added an R hop to it and a ZCI tight bore inner barrel, uh, thanks to the YouTube viewer of my Corey for suggesting that. So I'll be shooting at the same tree about 210 feet away. Unfortunately, I forgot my rangefinder, but if I can hit that tree consistently, it's a good sign. Let's try it out and see how well it does.
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can hit you. Oh, that was weird. Too much stuff in the way. Yeah. Happy what, with it. what weight of bees are this? 36? I want to get heavier. Actually, oh, you know what? Let me try. Let's look here. We're loading. I have some crappy. I have black 4.3s. 4.3s? I want to see how the hop affects it. Let's see it here. 4.12s. <laughs> These are heavy. Oh no, I've got my nose. Alright, 4.3s. Drop, but when it's straight. Yeah, but when hell low. But dropping, I'm hitting like six feet to lower. I mean, geez. but I mean, you could over hump for that. Are you compensating left and right? Uh, no, just get it level and it's... Did you see it? Yeah. Did it go left or right or something? I didn't hear a ting. I didn't have it lined up. Boom. The drop's pretty insane. Yeah, the drop is pretty weak. But the left, uh, I don't know. I think with a little hop adjustment, it could be hitting dead center at 200 feet. The hang. Oh, the, hang. the drop on that one was so much. <laughs> it went out of sight. <laughs> but you could hear it click. Yeah, I saw it. We are also on crazy zoom. I think I'm like at nine power zoom right now. Yeah, the zoom is pretty. So all the movements are super magnified. <laughs> the sound is so Dead sweet. <laughs> Dunk. finished shooting I've been shooting on and off for a couple days here and I'm pretty happy with the way the gun is shooting that tree that I spotted out there 210 feet uh, with no wind I can hit it about 60 70 percent of the time I don't know sounds good to me the R hops definitely helping the type is helping I was using three sixes and the winds affecting it was pretty greatly if there's any wind uh, then I had some silver 4.3s from a while back, which are hard to see, but the flight trajectory was very nice and straight. Oftentimes they would drop with the same hop-up as the 3.6s you would expect, but they would be dead middle. Um, and then I tried tuning the hop-up for them. There's a little bit of wind right now, so I wasn't too thrilled with them. I wanted to get some white ones and see if that could make that work better. I think this thing is ready for the field. I'm going to take it out, see how it goes. Um, the hop-up adjustment is not something you want to do in the field. I got it dialed into where I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully it'll hold hop and when I get off the mountain I'm on flat land and different conditions, different temperatures, it'll still be applicable and the hop up will work as it does here. Uh, a couple things I discovered, 
the bolt's still tough to pull, much easier than before, but right now after shooting this thing for three days, maybe, I don't know, 200, 300 rounds through it, uh, I'm feeling it. Now, another thing that I don't like about this gun are the magazines, they're terrible. They don't hold the BBs well. If you bump on anything, just spill all the BBs out. Sometimes putting the mag into the gun is enough for it to just dump all the BBs, fill up the mag well, and just a total mess. So if you're gonna play with this thing, load up the mag before the game and keep it in there as long as you can, because the spring and the little BB retainer are very poorly designed, or maybe the spring is too weak, I don't know, but the mag does not work well. But it does feed well, so once it's in the gun, it's good, but getting in there, without spilling all the BBs, it's a different thing. And and the adjustment screw that goes into the trigger that you could adjust the um, pull strength or the sensi sensitivity. It keeps falling out of me. The second time it's falling out of me, I'm gonna lock tight it in there and be done with it, but pretty annoying. It shouldn't be happening. So, happy with the gun. I was hitting my buddy out there at 200 feet. The tree I'm shooting at is about a human width, so I think it's a good measure of how accurate it could be in the game. When you line up the shot, make sure it's level and send it. It's with no wind, it's pretty probably have a 50 60 percent chance of getting a hit if the person's standing still. A lot of things have to go right to get a hit, but it's not impossible. So, I'll probably take this out to a game soon. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you can catch that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.